we've been working on and where we hope to be and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for coming, and I'm going to hand it off to Tom. Okay, basically what happened was last semester, Dr. Eric Uzo approached me after class and asked me, you know, what is this social media thing? What can we do for the College of Business for social media? And uh, we took Katie on board, and Katie was right away ready to jump in and help out. And it was something that, it started out as something small and just kept growing and growing. And it was one of those things that we didn't really know how successful it was going to be until we got it live. And once we got it going, it was like the most exciting thing ever, watching it grow and still growing each day. And the things we're doing on social media here are awesome. And we just love to see the fact that you guys came out. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're going to go through just basically what we have so far. Oh. Uh, wow. All right. There she is. There she is. There she is. There she is. We want only. homepage. We want to make this as, as interactive as we can. So if you have an event coming up, you have something going on, you want to communicate with us, connect on our Facebook page because that's really where everything leads back to here on our social media stuff. Get the information you need. We're going to have keep filling this up, updating it. It's going to be constant, live, interactive as much as we can. We're going to try and get as much to know, get as much about the child college business out there as we can. Uh, our, our pictures, if you have pictures from events you guys are involved with or something you've done for the College of Business, please tag yourself in them, put them on our page, send them to us, email them. We want to get them out there. we got some great clubs. I can see some of the clubs are represented here. and We've got some awesome groups on campus, so we really want to make sure we promote that stuff because we're not only trying to provide something for everyone here, but we want to show people that might be looking at, to come to school here that this is the number one business school in the state. In the world. Well, <laughs> turned out good. <laughs> One of the things that Katie and I kind of, an idea Katie and I came up with a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago is I, I always read Sports Illustrated magazine growing up, and they had a function called uh, Spaces in the Crowd, where they chose athletes who stood out of the out of the out of the high school crowd and promoted them through that that venue. So we figured that'd be a great way for our students to maybe promote themselves and find a unique way to stand out and show. I mean, Woo! Woo! Look at that handsome fellow. Uh, <laughs> I just put real quick the description, my name, my major, what I'm doing here, and, and a quick link to one of my sites or anything you want to put up there. Something that you feel like you can give to a potential employer who might come, on to, come to our page looking to find someone unique and different and connect with you, and that's basically what social media is all about. You want to network, network with as many pe people as possible on a professional level and show them that you know what you're talking about and that you know what you're doing. And that's what we got here. Our Twitter page, you're all over this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Our Twitter page, we've, we've connected it to our our Facebook, so you can look at, our, at the Twitter feed straight from our Facebook if you want to. Twitter and YouTube, right there, all of them on the same page, if you need, if need be. But um, also, this is what our Twitter page looks like from the beginning. Tweet at us. Did somebody tweet it right now? <laughs> <laughs> at Charlton UMassD, get connected with us. This is the one of the things with Twitter is it's got a unique way of, of having that relationship between you and everyone out there on the web. You can get connected with anybody you want based on your interests, your likes, and the things that you want to know. So if there's something you're looking for, an internship or things like that, we want to be following as much of that stuff out to you guys as we can because we want to provide that kind of service through social media. It's quick, it's easy, and it's fun. Our YouTube page. We want to, YouTube's designed to provide you that experience. Uh, recording. We got, Tyler in the back and some of the video here. We want to get as much stuff on campus on video because YouTube is the second largest search engine to Google and it's owned by Google. So people go there to find out what it looks like and they want to experience it. What are they actually going to see and do when they go to UMass Dartmouth? That's what we want to put up on our YouTube page. We want to give people that experience so that they can <laughs> know what it's like. Oh, look at this ass. So that they know what it's like when they come here. So we've got a quick video put together of a couple students.
name is Jimmy Trotter, and I'm a senior marketing major. Hi guys, I'm Jennifer Quintero, a human resources major with a minor in finance. My name is Eric Rodriguez, I'm a senior marketing major here at the university. And I'm Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm Megan. And we're going to tell you a couple reasons why we chose UMass Dartmouth. One of the reasons I chose UMass Dartmouth is because it's AACSB accredited. Um, that was a huge selling point when I was considering the other schools. Yep. AACSB is an accredited. It actually means that you're having a great education and that it's top quality for what you're paying. Completely honest, I was never in love with UMass Dartmouth when I had to choose a college. I saw what most people see is a bunch of cement buildings that don't look anything like a regular college campus. However, I didn't come here for the works, I came here for a strong business program. Once I came here though, I not only received the education that I thought I would, but I enjoyed the whole campus far more than I expected to. UMass has so much to offer and you'll never really know all the opportunities you've had unless you go out and explore them. The reason why I chose UMass Dartmouth is for its career center and the numerous business majors that the school has. In addition to with the career center, the career center is a great place to provide you tools that will help you achieve your long-term goals from freshman year to senior year. First of all, I chose UMass Dartmouth because of the size, really. Uh, it's not too big of a school, but it's also not too small. I was also really attracted to the fact that it wasn't too far away from my house. It's about an hour and a half ride, so it's close enough where if I have to get home, I can, or if uh, it's far, also far enough away where I don't feel like I have my parents breathing down my neck. I've had several classes where we did um, real research for real companies, and this just makes you feel like your work is so important and you're actually making an impact, and it helps you when you're looking for jobs and internships too. I'm proud to say that I go to UMass Dartmouth. Being on site to you and seeing the impact that we can make while applying what we can learn in the classroom has really made me proud to be a part of the Shell College business here at UMass Dartmouth because with site we are bringing education into reality. Don't waste any more time. Get yourself out there and make UMass Dartmouth remember your name. Therefore, that's the reason why I chose UMass Dartmouth. I would really recommend UMass Dartmouth and the Child College of Business to any high school student looking to go to a four-year university. And these are just a few reasons why we chose UMass. Yep, we hope that our reasons help you to make great decisions.
He was ready to find that kid on campus and he looked up to him already and he didn't even know him yet. That's one of the things we want to provide here is get students who are thinking about coming here to connect with kids who are already here. Because those are the people they're going to look up to, those are the people they want to, they're going to want to get to know when they get here. They're going to want to get to see those accomplishments and connect and really grow as a community. And I think with with this and, and everything we can do through it, it's, it that's exactly what it's going to do. We, we hope to see it grow more and more in the next couple of years. Katie and I, after, you know, we have another year left and um, we're looking to find that next generation of this. But uh, we're very proud of the stuff we've done and we look forward to, to working with everyone here and you guys to, to make this the best it can be. Yay. How do you think I did on the presentation? Oh, dude, 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 dude. great job, of course. <laughs> awesome. Corey, how, how did you like the presentation? That was great. Um, I'm definitely pumped about all the work these guys have been put into it. This is like awesome. I love social media too. Big social media guy. I think it's been great. It's great for the school. Love it. 
Tom Barry himself, very good in presentation. How you feel? Uh, I feel great. It's been a long, it's been a long journey, um, but it's still going. It's still a long journey. Um, I look forward to the future of UMass Dartmouth. Not it's at it's futures somewhere. But anyways, um, UMass Dartmouth social media. It's the next big thing.